Hello, this is Hildron from the CC here today to talk about Cheetah 3D 6, the new version of Cheetah 3D, my preferred 3D animating software. And there's a lot of new stuff with it, but the main thing I'd like to focus on is with physics. So I'll give you a demo of some of the samples that come with Cheetah 3D, and then later you will be seeing some tutorials on how to actually animate with physics. So the biggest new thing is the implementation of the Bullet Physics Engine, and you can do some really great things. So let me just open up a few of these and give you the tour. Okay, so rigid bodies is a nice thing. We can actually have gravity and realistic physics here. And actually, I can interact with this while it plays back. So let me just change this up a little bit. So, oop, didn't mean to record a keyframe. So while I play this back, as you can see, things will actually fall, and they will bounce, and everything's nice and realistic. But since this is actually just a real-time canvas, which is really nice, I can actually interact with it as it plays back. So if I select this and I play it back, I can actually interact with it and play like a breakout game just like this. And this isn't really something that serves a purpose, but it proves how it actually works with physics. And if I expand this, I can actually get this going a little bit longer. So that is pretty awesome. A lot of this stuff is in Cheetah 3D and it makes animating a lot easier so you don't have to do all this manual work anymore with keyframing or anything. You can just have the physics do it themselves. So that is pretty fun. A, another example is rope. That is a type of tag you can use. If you go to the tags menu you can see there are some new options there compared to version 5. And this will actually simulate rope. So as you can see we have a helix here in a circle and they have the sweep creator applied. And you can get your creators from here. And when you play this back it actually simulates rope. As you can see just like that. So that's another one of the, that's another one of the new effectors. No, excuse me, not effectors. A tag inside Cheetah 3D6. Uh, another awesome example: spirals with rigid bodies. We got the spiral thing here. It simulates gravity in a good way, and it simulates rigid bodies in a fun way. So when I play this back, you can see the marbles will just roll down. So that is pretty cool, and this is fully interactive as well. You can actually edit it while it's playing back, or you can edit it before and just see what happens with physics. If you want to experiment with that, that's cool, because, for example, I can maybe take these and those and just edit these out. Let me just select these. So now I have a gap. So it will simulate the physics pretty much perfectly, so when they roll down and then they hit this gap, they will actually just fly all over the place in a way. And there they go. And they're falling out. So really nice, realistic, and really customizable physics. That is really cool. It's a lot of physics, physics, physics. That's a lot of what this is. Soft bodies. You can simulate things like flags really easily with soft bodies. Once again, that's another tag you can get. Here's another good example of use with rigid bodies. Objects cl clashing together and just crashing and sending things flying. It's another good example. You can actually set pivots for rigid bodies. So like when objects fall, they will stay oriented around a certain pivot, just like these. And you can make anchors. Once again, that's just a tag you can use. As you can see, it's right here, and I can change the parameters here, and it shows you what it applies to. It applies to this plane right here. And if you play it back, it actually pulls down like that. And there's also things with particle activation. As you can see, I have a rendered out animation here. And that's just a few of the things. That's just the samples that come with Cheetah 3D6. So you can get this and just experiment with it. It's in the Mac App Store as well. You can get the trial off of their website, cheetah3d.com. So hope you enjoyed this small little demo reel and expect some more tutorials in the future.